Hey everybody, today we're gonna to do a review of the chef's table on Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas, right after this. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, come join us. We're a travel agency that tries to give you great information so you can book the best possible cruise vacation. So today we're gonna to talk all about the chef's table on Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Seas. If you are new and don't know what the chef's table is, that's okay, we're gonna explain it. So whenever you go onto a Royal Caribbean ship, they have some specialty dining restaurants, uh, and then they also have some special offerings. One of them is Taste of Royal, which is a lunch that has several courses with a few drinks that kind of gives you a little taste of all the specialty dining restaurants. And the other one is Chef's Table. And Chef's Table is a dinner and it's a little more of a fancy uh, exclusive night out uh, where you have five courses and a dessert with five wine pairings and a, a cocktail. So you really do get a lot for your money. If you book Chef's Table prior to sailing, it's usually around 80 to $85. If you book it on the ship, it's gonna be probably around 90 to $100. Either way, I definitely think it's worth it, but if you can book it ahead of time, you should book it ahead of time. If you would like to do something fun, so even if you're going on a ship and you're not gonna do specialty dining and you wanna splurge on one really kind of fun special night, uh, we usually do it on formal nights, so you're dressed up any, we get dressed up and we go to a fancy dinner. So it is a way to splurge and have that one big kind of fun night out. So we'll go through, we're gonna go through the whole experience of booking it, what's included, what's not included, and we'll do kind of a course by course as well. All right, so uh, signing up for Chef's Table, pretty simple. If you go into your uh, Royal Caribbean Cruise Planner, you will see it on your screen as one of the dining options. So you can book that, and when you book it, it'll ask you to choose what night you would like to go. Again, you could do this on the ship as well, but it's gonna save you about 10 or $15 if you do it pre-cruise. So when you get on the cruise ship, it's a really nice experience. You're gonna get a little um, flyer in your room that is your official invitation to uh, chef's table, which is really nice. And then you are gonna have an assigned time where you, where you show up down there. On every ship, it's gonna be slightly different where it's at. We're gonna review the one on Enchantment. So we previously have done this on Oasis class ships and they have it in different venues there as well, Solarium Bistro or different places. On Enchantment of the Seas, they have a little room set up for Chef's Table, specifically for Chef's Table. They also do uh, a couple other things in that room, but it's built, it says Chef's Table on the door. So when you go down, we met Eduardo, our uh, concierge, so to speak, for Chef's Table at the R Bar, which is in the Centrum. He had a little uh, section of the R Bar sectioned off for Chef's Table guests. It said reserved on the table. And when you got there, you got a little special cocktail to kick things off. It's basically a little bit of champagne, a little bit of Chambord, uh, some grenadine and a cherry in there. So it's a nice little kickoff cocktail. We got there around 6.15. Our chef's table was starting at 6.45. So we waited for everybody to get there. Eduardo did a quick uh, introduction and then we walked you know, 30 or 40 feet over to the chef's table room. So once you get into the chef's table room, every ship's experience is gonna be kind of slightly tailored for that ship. So on ours, Eduardo did the kickoff and introduced himself. He then introduced Aaron, who was the chef. Both of them were from the Philippines. They were both just wonderful. The customer service was uh, exceptional, which it always is. And then we did something fun. We went around the table and everybody introduced themselves. There are 14 people at this. So if you go as couples, there's gonna be like seven couples there. Obviously we had three solos. So, and there was a few, uh, there was one other solo person there. So it's really nice. They go around and we had uh, somebody who was celebrating their honeymoon. And you, you get to meet people who are having like these great, interesting events in their life or birthdays or whatever it is. We're just splurging on a night out. So you talk to everybody, everybody does a quick intro, and then Eduardo does the initial wine rollout where he's gonna introduce the first wine, and then you get your first course. The food is generally always the same at the uh, chef's table, slight different variations of uh, what they have on the ship. So it's a little bit different, but uh, 
Course one is scallop carpaccio with a yuzu vinaigrette. And that was really delicious. And they obviously each ship's going to have a different wine pairing with it. Uh, this was a white wine. It was really good. First course is uh, really nice. It's very light. This is a big meal, but it's not a heavy meal. And you do have a lot of drinks. So strap in for that. Uh, course two is a smoked tomato soup. They bring it out uh, with the croutons and everything and the Parmesan cheese. And then they pour the soup at the table. Another thing to keep in mind with the chef's table is everything is served uh, to order. So they go and they obviously there are things that have been cooking in different things, but they cook everything to order. It's not like it's all sitting in the back and they're just bringing it out. So you do the uh, smoked tomato soup with uh, garlic focaccio croutons and Parmesan cheese. On ours, this was also paired with a white wine. There was a lot of white wine, uh, one red, and then a cocktail. Um, second course, really good. The smoked tomato soup is excellent. So the other thing with Chef's Table is if you are going to sign up for this, it is a full night event. So this is going to be your entertainment for the night. It's going to be your dinner. It's going to be a show, everything. So it is about three hours long. We started, we got down there at 6.15. We got out of there after 9.00. So, um, but it's definitely worth it. It's a great experience and it's fun. So course number three is a main lobster salad. And that comes with um, some pineapple cilantro, a little mango coulis on it. Uh, that was really amazing. Uh, again, all the courses so far pretty light. The soup is big. You also start with Parker House Rolls. So they bring those out. Those are from 150 Central Park. If you're on a, obviously, if you're on a cruise ship that has that, if not, they're just making those from scratch, obviously. Um, and those are amazing to dip your, into your soup. Little pro tip there. Um, then the next course is a roasted branzino with grilled zucchini, peppers, lemon confit, and pesto sauce. Um, that was also paired with a white wine. That was really, really good. Uh, again, each one of these courses, your uh, mater d', which is was Eduardo for us and Aaron, come out and they tell you what the course is. They tell you what the wine is. They talk about the wine. Um, so at that time, Eduardo started decanting the red wine for the next course, which is your grilled filet mignon. That is an 11 ounce filet. So now we're getting into kind of large portions. The Branzino is a pretty good size portion as well. And that comes with the filet comes with truffled potato, truffled potato puree, uh, asparagus and a Bordelais sauce. And that comes with a red wine, which was decanted and was excellent. And then finally for dessert, you get the world from, which is in Wonderland. And that is a peanut butter ganache with chocolate mousse, mousse and a salted caramel gelato. However, on ours, they substitute again, like there's no Wonderland on Enchantment. So they substituted out uh, the peanut butter ganache with like a cake, like a chocolate cake on the bottom. Don't get me wrong. It was still really good, but it was just different, right? It wasn't the same as what we've had before. And that comes with a salted caramel espresso martini. Every single course was great. The service was great. The people that we had it with. So that's the other thing, right? If you're at uh, one of these tastings and for some reason you're not vibing with the people there, you're not getting along with them, it's probably not going to be the best experience. But for us, it's always been uh, a super pleasant experience. You get this fun little chef's table menu to take home with you, which is really nice. This is the one we got on Oasis. I just had it with me here so I can look at it. Uh, but for Enchantment being a small ship and there's not a lot of dining options, if you want to have a splurge night, there's only chops as the uh, specialty dining. I think it's really nice. It's a nice thing to spend a little bit of money on. Uh, to me, like the spend versus what you get is great. I think you really get a great experience. Now, you have to be kind of like into food. You have to enjoy kind of adventuring out a little bit on food. It's not stuff that you would get normally at a dining room or the buffet. So if you have an adventurous eater that you are with or you do like to try new foods and you are you like that kind of experience, it's definitely the best bang for your buck. You're getting six drinks and you're getting uh, basically a six course meal. So I highly recommend it. I think Chef's Table is great. Have any of you gone to Chef's Table? Did you like it? Did you have a great experience? What ship did you go on? Uh, we're gonna try it on a lot of the different ships and see what our favorite is. But uh, so far my favorite was the one on Oasis. 
uh, it was great. But the, the people on this one were excellent and the service could not have been better. The Little Chef's Table is right outside of the My Fair Lady dining room, so they come in through the back door there to give you your food. And it's just a great experience. If you have a little bit of extra money and you want to splurge on something, if it's your honeymoon or somebody's birthday or an anniversary, this is a great thing to do. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Uh, let us know your thoughts. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.